some days Mike's like real good with the camera, other days he's like, something's wrong with the monitor, I think I cracked it. Welcome back everybody to another episode of Tying Gig Builds. Today I'm gonna go over my top five Raspberry Pi camera projects, builds. It's not like we're not talking builds, Mike. Builds time. All right, today I'm gonna go over my top five Raspberry Pi camera projects. These are projects that involve the Raspberry Pi camera in any way. Um, these are my top five, so they might be different than yours, but I think these kind of encapsulate the different types of things that you can do with the camera. And if you're interested in getting started with the camera Raspberry Pi project, keep listening. There are three different cameras that are currently produced for the Raspberry Pi. There's the camera module V1, the camera module V2, and the high quality camera. For all intents and purposes, it's really the camera model V2 versus the high quality camera. As the name uh, imposes, the high quality camera produces higher quality uh, photographs, about 12 megapixels. Uh, it's more expensive, uh, it has uh, detachable lenses, and the quality is actually fa fairly high. The camera module V2 doesn't have any lenses, and it takes lower quality, I think 5 megapixels, um, but it costs less, about $30. Supposedly, both of these cameras work with any Raspberry Pi. I would just be weary of trying the high quality one on like a Pico, for example. I'm not sure how performant that would be. I'd have to give it a shot <laughs> before I recommend it. Uh, maybe in a future video, we'll try something like that. But just keep in mind, I would try like a Raspberry Pi for the high quality if, if that's in your budget. Now the type of camera and the type of Raspberry Pi you're going to use is going to depend on the project that you want to do. Some of these Raspberry Pis might be doing other things than just streaming a video or doing whatever you want to do with the camera. So the processing speed and things like that might change for the Raspberry Pi. And you might find that you know high quality camera maybe isn't as performant on a lower model Raspberry Pi. So you'll have to play around with it and depending on your model, I would just, if you're following a tutorial, just maybe use the suggestions that are done in that tutorial. First project I recommend with the Raspberry Pi camera is to live stream video. Now, my first Raspberry Pi project, I took a Raspberry Pi Zero with the camera V1 module, I believe, and I was live streaming my living room 24 seven on Twitch. And then I had the message board at the time and anytime someone in the chat messaged anything, it would show up in my living room. They, it didn't really do well, uh, but it was certainly a learning experience and it was very fun to see what you could do with the Raspberry Pi. I think, um, you know, live streaming video in any kind of way, depending on your use case, maybe not just a living room, but you know, live streaming, you do something cool, uh, you could do it at Twitch and uh, actually use it as a camera. The second project on the list that I suggest doing, uh, if it interests you, is to have a security camera for your house. Um, I, th I watched another video, I think Hacker Shack did it, um, but basically they made a security camera that recognizes people going to the front door and you, from there you could sound alarms, you know, send an automated test message to your phone or you could uh, do something like turn the lights on or off in the house if it's a smart house, anything like that. So just video recognition for the front door, I'll leave a link to that video or article that I, that I saw that did this. Very cool um, and it notifies you whenever it goes to the front door, so actually a very useful use case. The third project I recommend, and this is kind of abstract, and this isn't a specific project, but more of an idea, uh, but facial recognition. So you can use the Raspberry Pi camera to, to view faces and things like that, and on top of that, there's facial recognition software that can take the video um, and parse it and kind of recognize certain people in, in frames. Facial recognition is actually pretty difficult, um, but there are easy ways to use it if you're new and you know beginning kind of programming and things like that, and even I'm an experienced programmer. I haven't really used machine learning in any way, so there are easy modules and things like that to actually uh, harness facial recognition. And once you do that, you know you could do a bunch of different things, like you know open the door once the camera recognizes your faces. You could potentially build a robot, and uh, you know every time it recognizes a certain person, it does a certain action, like goes forward, backward, uh, left, right. You know, really, it's up to you. Number four is actually using it as a webcam. Um, and I haven't done this, but it's possible. Um, and I haven't really seen anyone on, on YouTube make anything like this, but you could make a webcam with a Raspberry Pi camera. The idea is there, I mean, you could use this camera to live stream yourself uh, in a video chat over a web application with someone else who's also using video. The last and most obvious uh, use case for this Raspberry Pi camera is to use it as an actual camera. The quality is high enough, it's 12 megapixels, it's certainly not anything that's gonna blow you away, but it's it's worth at least saving those photos on your phone or something. Uh, you could 3D print a case, 
uh, for the Raspberry Pi and the camera to actually house it properly. And it's the Raspberry Pi is small enough where you could battery power it and on the go and actually you know put it in a housing where you're using it as a physical camera. You could also use it for time lapses and things like that to actually have beautiful scenery. Um, I'll leave links to uh, these different projects and and the the way that other people have done them in the past uh, in the description, and you can get some inspiration from there as well. And that wraps it up, folks. Those are my top five Raspberry Pi camera projects. Uh, I did want to make this video because again, I saw on my own. I was looking at you know searching for videos like this, and I didn't really see anything that kind of caught my eye. We plan on making a camera build, the high quality one, you know, within a month or two. Um, so stay tuned if you're interested for that. Until then, though, you can follow us on Instagram for live updates throughout the week. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you're into that, and we'll see you next time. Builds. Builds.